Hi guys, welcome back to Talking Rangers for the next instalment on the channel. Today we're going to be ranking QPR chance into an array of categories. Now this could be quite a controversial one, so make sure to go leave your comments and your reactions to our rankings in the comments section down below. But while you're at it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Today I'm joined by P-Box Scuds, he's going to be helping me make these, these tough decisions and putting these chants into the rankings. And we're going to be in a call with him in just a moment. But the following categories that we're ranking these chants into are at the top, we've got Stadium Rocker, a chant that gets the whole stadium going. It creates a real fantastic atmosphere. And these are chants that really get the fans going. Next, we've got Truly Iconic. Now this could, it's kind of into, up to your own interpretation, but it's chants that are really, really original, ones that maybe have an associated meaning to a special game or memory and really just are iconic. Um, next, we've got amazing, good, and average. I mean, those are kind of self-explanatory. But then we've also got common. I mean, these may be good chants, but they also may be, they may lack originality. And they also, you know, a lot of, a lot of other clubs may use those chants. So let's get straight into it. So I'm joined by none other than P-Box Guards. How are you doing today, mate? I'm very good, mate. How are we doing yourself? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. How's isolation keeping you in the last few weeks? Yeah, um, had its ups, had its downs, uh, but uh, today's been a good day. So um, yeah, yeah, it's it's finding a happy medium. Um, the, thankfully, the the six years of uh, the playoff final over the weekend kept me going. Watching all the replays, seeing the uh, the screamer of Zamora. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, good times. <laughs> no, Zamora Day was a. Uh... It was some great memories. It was a very, very special day in the history of our club. Um, so today we're here to get our QPR fix. We're going to be reliving and discussing and ranking our favourite QPR chants. So when I thought of this video idea, I thought, what QPR maniac, what hooligan can I bring that knows all the chants, that starts quite a few of them? He actually goes by the name of P-Box Scuds. He thinks he's the P-Box general. <laughs> Rogers. <laughs> so no further ado, let's get kick-started on one of my favourites, Ali, 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 O. We all know that. Ali, 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 O. Ali, 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 O. Keep your FC from the White City. Sorry, what man. an absolute That's corker that. that is. What a corker. I, uh, I mean, it's one of those, especially when we're winning and that goes off. You just feel it, don't you? you just feel it coming out of everybody like at volume 11 and there's no such thing as volume 11 when there's only 10 on the dial so yeah um absolutely love that song absolutely, absolutely love, love it. It. i remember the first time i think it may even be the time it's created it was i think fulham away two years ago it was the first time i ever ever heard it and coming out of that that fulham end and we just completely drowned out fulham which is no surprise then with their little clappers but um, yeah, I think it's a fantastic song. Well, that gets going around Loftus Road, or should I say the Kind Prince. Um, it's, it's an absolute belter. It's pretty unique as well. I really, haven't really heard any other versions of it. What were you thinking for this one then? Uh, it's got to be, I mean, it's got to be a stadium rocker. Uh, I, I, I mean, I want to put it straight up in there. I know it's a little bit, you know, straight out of stables, but it is because when it gets going, everyone is just. And you could just feel that passion coming out of every yeah. QPR fan, and I love it. And I'm I'm no different. Uh, I'm the mad man that's always you know up and singing it. So I I personally would say Stadium Rock Up, but you know I, I'd like to know what you think, Mike. I yeah, I tell I agree. Especially I think it's such like a contagious song. The fact is, as soon as a couple people sing it. Before you know it, half the stadium sing it. It's wrapping round. It's, it, yeah. It's, it's. I think it's got to be a stadium rocker when it gets going. I think yeah. it's, it's definitely up there for one of our songs, without a doubt. Straight into stadium yeah. rocker. <laughs> we set the bar high straight off the first one, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We don't. We don't. We don't muck around here. We <laughs> we we go full from this one. You know? Straight to business. Straight to business. So, next up. We have got the finest football team the world has ever seen, and it's Queen's Park Rangers. Queen's Park Rangers FC, we're the finest football team. No, uh, it's, yeah. it's a it's a goosebump one, really, isn't it? On a good game, 
it is. You know, when we ain't playing so well, or you know, we might have got a goal back and someone starts singing it, you get <laughs> you know the rumbles. It's <sighs> the thing is, I'm looking at, I'm trying to look at it from a positive point of view. Um, yeah, what we sing it, I would say amazing. Um, it does give off an amazing feeling. Um, that's in the good times, though. It is. I think, yeah, like you say, sometimes it can be a bit cringy when, you know, we've equalised or something and people are singing it. Or, But one thing that is good about that song is that it gets everybody off their feet. Everyone, everyone's giving it a bit of this. Every, you know, yeah. <laughs> hands are a lot. I'm normally leaning over that barrier. <laughs> it is a good one. My only problem with this one is that I know a lot of, a lot of clubs sing this one. It's not very unique. It, you know, it is creeping towards no, that common it is a good, it is a great chant. It is a great chant. I mean, I, the one thing is I hate about other teams singing it is that they go, "We're by far the the greatest or the by far the, best the bestest team." team. And it's best, like, yeah. what, what what kind of lyrics are those? Oh, nah. oh, it's just awful. What was Arsenal's version? Is the worst one. Like you know, um, I think I've heard it. But it's what, not are you saying, then, what are you saying then? What are you saying? I think I think good is probably what I'd say. I'd say. Because it's uh, good or amazing, I'm, I'm on the fence. What, you can edge it towards which, say, which way you think. I'm happy with either. I mean, I, like I said, amazing on a good day. When, yeah. when everyone's singing it together, it is absolutely amazing. Um, but it's, it's, not, it's not one we use that often. You know, it's normally... Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, all right, we'll go with good. Well, yeah, I think I think good. Fair. We've got some good chance here, so uh, we've got a lot to get through. Next up, we, got, we are the pride of West London. We're blue and we're white. We ain't Cardiff City and Chelsea are. We ain't Cardiff City and Chelsea. Better <laughs> piss up, oh, but I won't. Oh mate, love that song. Love that. <laughs> it's class. It's class. It's uh, it always seems to be belted out on away days as well. It's uh, it's an absolute. It's, classic. It's... Right. Yeah, I mean. I might be very wrong here, but I don't know of any other team that sings that song or is very similar, like lyric-wise. Um, I really do think it is actually our own song. And I love the fact that we incorporate our, our most hated rivals down the road in, in South West London. And then we also talk about how we don't like those people across the border in Wales. Um, and it's true. We, we are the blue and white. We go and a piss up. We are cute. <laughs> yeah, it's a great song, though. It's a great, great song. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Question is, though, where are we putting this one? So not everyone, not everyone gets involved with it, um, and that sometimes doesn't mean it gets you know sung as loud as it could be. Um, personally, uh, I I put it in the good. Good. I think that's a little bit harsh. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's it's amazing. I think it is. I think it's a bit better than. I think it's when you look at what's in good already with uh, what was our finest football team. I think it's a better chant than that. Okay. Um, I mean, I I stoop down to your level for good. Um, so now we have oh, okay. to stoop up to your level and say, <laughs> okay, let's put it in my. All right, you next know, time. Short, short video. I'm not going to win, am I? So, <laughs> next time you can have the final say. I promise. I promise. But yeah, I think, I think yeah, in comparison, I think it's definitely a better chance than, um, than uh, we are the, oh, well, I've got what it was now, uh, finest football team. So yeah, I think, I think it's got to go yeah. amazing. You agree? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Okay, oh, go yeah. on. Yeah, stick okay, it in, mate. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. So next up, an absolute corker. It is. Captain Jack, will you meet me by the railway track? Whoa, Captain Jack, meet, meet me, me by the railway track. <laughs> Should have got Chew, a scarf ready, mate. mate. Actually, in a bottle, but oh, I've yeah, got a few props. Got the, the, prop. flags, the flags behind me. I just <laughs> pretend I'm waving that. Uh, oh, mate, I seriously love that song. Um, have you ever managed to get that song going? Like you start it and everyone follows. No, I'm going to be honest. That is one that is on the bucket right. list. It's got to be done. When we get I back, will, I yeah, yeah, and you should because I tell you now, the first time I ever got that song going and all the crowd followed, 
uh, all these hairs on my arm were like that, mate. It was amazing. You're shouting out, and everyone's shouting. Is that, it's just a one. Like, it's a solo, isn't it? It's a solo. <laughs> exactly, isn't it? Uh, with, <laughs> yeah, I can't even think of it. Go left, go left, go left, go left. Right, it's it's uh, amazing. Baby. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Have you oh. seen the video on the, uh, the walk to Wembley? Um, of the, I think it must be about oh, that little kid. kid or something. Amazing. Absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing. He I'll play it now. Job. I'll play it now. I want me your drinking man. I want me your drinking man. Go left, go left. 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 Go left, right, go keep me there. Go left, go right, go keep me there. Go left, go right, go left. Um, um, yeah, that was... <laughs> That's always one that's so that's so inspirational. It's such a such a special chant. I think it's so unique. Um, it's not in terms of the chant itself. It's not really a stadium rocker. It's not it's not one that you know everyone gets behind so much. But I, for me, I think truly iconic. That's no. what I measure towards. What about you? I definitely agree with that one, mate. Because I don't. Again, no one else sings a song like that. You don't yeah. hear you don't hear Tottenham fans singing one like that. You don't hear. Liverpool fans sing one like that. I mean, they've got we've got their own, but no one has Captain Jack. We are the only team that uses Captain Jack. And if I'm wrong, then I'm going to go and cry. <laughs> we do like to see that. Um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a definitely a special, special song. And um, definitely, iconic definitely. is definitely the word that comes to mind when describing that one. What about? Everywhere well, we it's go. Truly iconic. Truly iconic. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Truly. Getting, on <laughs> <laughs> getting on to the next one. What about ev everywhere we go? We're the everywhere we boys. go. We're the righteous boys making all the noise. Everywhere we go. That last season, oh, that, was, that was belted out. All season long, but as soon as Ali Alio's come in, that's kind of taken its place in a way. Yeah, exactly. yeah I remember. I, I remember. Like, it's mad. Yeah, I remember. I was uh, before the seat before the season was postponed. I was back for a game, and I remember I started it off, and you were like, "God, I forgot about that one." <laughs> I had to dust yeah, exactly. it off. Like, yeah, because just... Ali Alio just went. It's a bit like yeah. the younger brother came along, and everyone went, <laughs> "Oh, how cute is the younger brother?" And forgot about the older. You know, it's madness. But um, yeah, I mean, it was when we used to sing. It was another one. You know, people used to go, and, and sometimes we'd see how long we could keep that going. Oh, it went on for ages and ages. Oh, definitely, definitely, <laughs> madness, isn't it? But uh, only thing as well with that one. Yeah, it's, but, it's quite a commonly used one. A lot of a lot of clubs do use it, but. When we used it last yeah. season, it was class. It was class. Especially at like, likes of Fulham and, and that. Yeah, away I days mean, again. Away days. Yeah. yeah, away days. I mean, we've had some good moments. I remember good games, both home and away, where we've used that song and it's been great. But, uh, I don't know, since Ali Ali O's taken over, I'm like... She's kicked it to one side. It's, <laughs> it's literally kicked it to the curb. And now, I, I hate to say it, mate, I would put it in the average category now. Ooh. Yeah, I think... I, I, I think you feel a bit harsh. It is harsh. It is harsh. I feel harsh, but let's look at what we've got. Yeah. You know, in terms of already in the categories and probably what's still to come. Yeah. I Unfortunately, it lives in the shadows now. It so does, it does. I, I, think... I personally would say... Yeah, yeah, I... Yeah. I'd say average. Average. yeah, yeah. I think Ali Elio is like the is the upgrade to it. It's kind of just you know, as you say, it is, it? it's fallen down the ranks. But yeah, we'll go average, straight and average. Next up, we've got a personal chant. This one, Dumbo, Dumbo, Dumbo. Is the best we fill the window. I still don't know the lyrics. And there's nobody just going to no, <laughs> yeah. Go on, mate. You've I still got to need to the lyrics. That. Oh come on! Oh, he, calls, he calls himself the P Block Scuds, the P Block General, and he can't even name the the song. Whoa, He's not going to like whoa, that. He's not going to like often, that. How often? How often? No, you're damn right. I'm not. How often have we sung the Dumball song though at home this season? I'll tell you. <laughs> Zil. Yeah, and whose fault is that? Whoa, whoa! It's not my fault because. 
I've got too many other songs to worry about singing and the old, you know, chants and the banging going. So, and I don't know the lyrics, so how can I get it started? <laughs> oh, disappointment is what comes to mind. Disappointment. But no, I'll let you off. I think it's a great chant. I can say another one that's really unique and I can't wait to build it out in the season or maybe next season when we're back. Back at church. Yeah, when the it is. Yeah. What are we thinking for this one then? Hard to say when we haven't really tested it in the stadium from, from my perspective. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. Um, there are other teams that use have used this or do use this yeah. style of song for other, oh, other okay. players. I haven't heard personally, but yeah. Um, Man, you, they used, Man, you used it for someone. I can't remember who off the top of my head, but I do remember I'd, I'd heard it before. Um, and it's so new. And as I say, we haven't used it at church. I yeah. think, it, I personally think it should go in the bottom tier with a room for improvement. All right, so, you, so we'll go with Common, because like you say you've heard common. it a few times. Um, I, I have you know, heard it a few times. If we test it out, you know, in the future, you know, we may consider it elsewhere in the tiers, but... Okay, we'll go for common for now. Common can for I, now. Can I but just it is a cracking chant. It is a cracking chant. Of course I love it. it. This is the thing. This is what I want to say to all your, your subscribers and, <laughs> and the viewers of, and now hating on me. Going, <laughs> play him, oh, play him. <laughs> I love Don Ball. Love Don Ball and I love the song, but it's just not been sung enough yet. We can't compare yeah. that to the likes of Ali Ali O and Captain Jack. So yeah. don't, hate, don't hate the man, hate the thought process. <laughs> That makes sense. <laughs> okay, yeah. there, there is a little bit of uh, a method in your madness. I'll give you that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Common. I'll, I'll take you. I'll take your word for it. Common's fair. Common's fair. Up with broom to improve. <laughs> you know it. You know it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have got easy to good for you. The magic man number ten. Uh, and, yeah, but it's got to be paired with this, though. You know, it's it's not it's not just a. I mean, I I really wanted right. Okay, I, I'm going to take a bit of a swerve on this one because oh, I, be outrageous. To, <laughs> I, I wanted to do um, a song for Easy. A band. I can't remember the band, but it was a, a '90s techno song. It was called Ebenezer Ebenezer's Goods, and it goes Easy Good, Easy Good, Ebenezer Good. I want to do that for every. I go Easy's Good, Easy's Good, every Easy's Good, but no one following it. So. I've got no love for any easy song. I now. can't think why, mate. I can't think why. <laughs> Listen to the song. I, I will I will find it. I will send it to you. Listen to it. You, you'll you see my method in the madness, mate. But, it's a lot uh, of madness. A lot of madness. <laughs> of course, mate. How can you be P-Block Scubs without a bit of madness? You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, is it again, this one could be edging towards the bottom. I'm thinking, I mean, we obviously did use this for Tarab as well. And our bings back. That opens a can of worms, that one. But um, for me, I probably think average. It's not, you know, it's not It's not too common. I think it's, you know, it's, I'd say average. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll agree with you on it. Um, no, I, I, no I, I would say I pushed what I would say more average than common um yeah again i'm gonna get a lot of hate because i'm not praising it to be the best song but uh it, i say I, for me it's a little bit tainted because of tarabat you know i was there you know singing tarabat's too good for you at the top of my lungs you yeah know, a few a few years ago now you know um before all this uh, um so yeah I'll, i'd say average purely yeah. because it's Great cheering his name. We need we need to be singing the players' names more, but it's Tarabat's song technically. It's recycled, it's recycled. That's the thing, like, don't get us wrong, we love all of these chants. It's just there's no fun oh, in the video yeah. if we put them all at the, at the top. So we've got to be harsh, yeah. we've got to be critical. So I it's, agree, I agree. Gonna, average. I was gonna say, we're not gonna be in the stands going, No, this was an average song. I'm not singing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be the loudest one. <laughs> oh god yeah let's get in average average for easy is too good for you now next up we have got stick the blue flag up your ass from Stamford Bridge to Wembley 
Wo Rob ich denke, Piros, ich Rob Piros. Love, love it. it, love it, love it, love it. I love the fact that um, many people that go to the games will notice, especially obviously we're in P block, Q block, and R block. You'll notice that the start of kickoff, you hear the dum 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 dum. Well, obviously, that's me getting it going. All oh, right, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that's when it kicks in of. Whatever the season, I will fall at him. Sorry, I went a bit obvious there. Um, <laughs> but I love this song. I do love it. I do love it. It's good. And I think anything really related to Chelsea is always, it's got a good uptake in terms of in the stadium, obviously, you know, fans singing along. Well, it's funny because we're, obviously, I live in, I've got a lot of West Ham fans in my, in my manner, geezer. In neck of the woods. Um, yeah, they always sing from up to uh, from Stamford Bridge to Upton Park and I'm like well, why are you sticking your blue flag up your own ass it doesn't make sense <laughs> at least when we sing it we say from Stamford Bridge to Wembley Probably. not yeah. yeah I've never understood why they stick it up their own backsides but each to their own so yeah yeah um, what, what are we thinking with this one as you say is uh, a couple of a couple of clubs sing it as well but that doesn't that doesn't mean it's a bad song chant shall I say I, I want to put it in amazing. It, I, I mean, I could go, it should be truly iconic. Or it could just be good. But for me, I'm going to go with amazing. Because on an away day, you know, on an away day when everyone's singing that. Yeah. I, you know, I think you're spot on. I think amazing. I don't even think it's quite truly iconic. I think you've got Captain Jack and truly iconic. It's going to be hard to pair something in there. But it's better than good. And I think, I think amazing kind of kind of ticks all the boxes for that one. I'm glad we agree. I'm glad to. <laughs> Next <laughs> up, <laughs> we're going to throw it back a little bit. With a certain white Pele, uh, comes to mind the name Akos Buzaki. I saw my mate the other day and he said to me, what's his name? <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> he said yeah, to me. <laughs> what's his name? Yeah, it's me. His name's Buzaki. Ooh. Oh yes. god, I can see everyone cringing right now, but I don't care. <laughs> nah. Darling, oh, I'm sorry, you know you was just saying, you know, about Captain Jack, you know, not you know, who else is gonna be in truly iconic? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it in there. Just straight, straight in there, away. straight in there. Straight away. Do we even need to talk about how truly iconic that song is? No. No, it's, it's definitely up there. I remember when I, was, when I was younger hearing that song. It took me ages to figure out the lyrics of that one. <laughs> when I finally did, I would not stop singing it. I absolutely loved it. Um, by then, it's time for someone else. <laughs> yeah, I think he left by then. <laughs> no, but... Uh, I remember when he came back for the, when he was inducted to the Forever Hours Club and then just singing that chant again it brought back so many great memories but oh, okay. absolutely love Buzaki and like you say yeah. that is a truly iconic QPR chant without a doubt it's the fact that even you know it could be a really bad game and the crowd start chanting stuff for the laugh like for the sake of having a laugh and that is one of the first ones everyone's just like oh Sonic will just sing about Buzaki <laughs> but the whole crowd get involved and they're like I love yeah, it I love it Zaki. <laughs> it's mad so yeah it's gotta be surely it's gotta be truly iconic it has gotta be no no doubt in my mind so the next chant on the list it's not so much a chant but it's kind of sung after the game I'd say but it still needs to come into this list we have got singing the blues when Rangers win and Chelsea lose and Chelsea lose oh, oh Rangers it's a it's it's a bit like not being allowed to have a big slice of cake, but having a cupcake instead. Because it's just <laughs> so sweet. It's just so sweet. You just get enough of it and it's so sweet. So I've been watching way too many cooking programs in this lockdown. It's just, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, <laughs> what an analogy. I'm sure everyone knows exactly what you mean. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually known as a leism. Oh, I, 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 take your pardon. I'm, I still apologise. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, guys. Uh, I'm not losing. I'm still taking my, my pills. So uh. <laughs> I think you missed today's dosage. But the feeling that that, <laughs> that comes about with singing that song, obviously, and keep you get the three points, and then seeing those scumbags also in West oh. London dropping three points. It's a uh, it's a great it's a great song. I, I like to say it's unique, and 
it's edging towards the top, center of the top. Is it is it creeping to iconic or not? Oh, amazing, I'm no, feeling. I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's iconic. Um, uh, it's it's. I I'd say it's good, amazing. I, I don't know. I think I'd, I'd rather say I want to say good because mm. um, it's not a very long song. You know, it's, it's normally, not so much a chant, is it? It's, it's, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I'm in, a, you know, a family party and they've got, you know, the local DJ and he starts spinning that song straight away, me and the old man, you know, cut the pints in there. <laughs> Never felt more like singing. <laughs> great. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if there's Chelsea fans in the room as well, because it just oh. annoys them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I I personally would go with good. Um, yeah, because it okay. is a good chant song, um, but it's not. It's not iconic. It's not a. It's not a stadium rock. It's not. So. It's not a belter, is it? It's, you know, it's it's more the feeling towards the song, obviously. When, like I said, we get the results. But yeah, I think good's fair. Let's go for good. So guys, that's a wrap for the first part of ranking QPR chants. Because QPR fans are just the best in the world. You've given me no option but to make two parts because we've got so many good chants we couldn't even fit them into one video. But on a serious note, uh, the part two will be coming soon. Massive thanks to P-Box Scuds for featuring in the video. Go check him out. He's linked in the description for his YouTube channel as well as his Instagram. Stay tuned for, for episode two and I'll see you in the next one.